Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys like it as much as I do. They're really awesome. Consequences Look at all you've done! How could we ever be a family again after this? How can you say such a thing? So all this means nothing to you? <sighs> nothing will ever be the same again. Emily? Don't force yourself to get up. You know what the doctor says. I'm fine. Another nightmare? I... I don't know. You had quite a fall down the stairs. It must be the shock. I have an idea. I'll go get you a nice cup of tea. It will do you good. Thank you. Mwah. Get some rest, okay? I'll be right back. Mm hmm. It's incredible! Today, Ladybug and Chat Noir have once again saved Paris. Good job, partner. Ladybug, Chat Noir, do you have anything to say to the people of Paris? Oh, um, be careful. Akumanizations are becoming more and more frequent. But don't worry. Whatever happens, we'll do everything we can to protect the city. And I have one last word for Hawk Moth. We will find you, so you can be sure of that. And you will never hurt anyone again. <sighs> Sir. Who? What the? <sighs> I made you a green tea with raspberry, your favorite flavor. Were you on the phone? I heard you talking. No, I was just thinking out loud. Hmm, it's strange. What are you talking about? I find it strange that Adrian's not back from his fencing class yet. <sighs> his classes are ending later and later. Gabriel, everything will be fine. I promise. Meow? Hey. Uh, what do you want from me? Is everything okay? Leave me alone, Dupain Chang. Hm. Well... Do you have a new best friend now? I feel betrayed. Finally, you are here! What? Are you jealous of her? You have nothing to fear, believe me. So why are you trying to be friends with her? I don't want to be friends with her. I always see her alone, so I just wanted to talk to her a little bit. I'm just curious. You don't have to worry about her. She's a spoiled brat. And then she must be frustrated that her mother doesn't want to homeschool her. She must think that we are not good enough for her to be her friends. I had to wait in front of this school with all these idiots around me. When I report this to my father, he will fire you. That's it. There's nothing else to know. You forgot to mention that Chloe lost her best friend less than a year ago. Oh, that's right. You don't believe any of this. What? Yeah, it's a little complicated. Alia thinks that Chloe's best friend is not dead. She thinks he is locked in his own house and his parents won't let him out. This is one of my theories. And where is your evidence? It's just a hunch. I don't have proof yet, otherwise I would have already done a post about it on my blog. You should investigate. What do you think I do? Hmm, the truth about the Aggress family. This would have a great title for my blog post. Aggressed? Yes, their missing son is Adrian Agrest. Have you never heard of him? Adrian Agrest? I've heard that name somewhere before. Adrian! Adrian! Marinette. M Marinette! M Marinette? Marinette! Girl, are you okay? Oh, uh, I was thinking, sorry. Adrian Agrest? The son of Gabriel Agrest? Of course I know him. Gabriel Agress is my favorite fashion designer, and his wife has played in some famous movies. Yes, isn't she beautiful? How could she marry someone so ugly? Hey, be more respectful to this grieving family. What? I thought you didn't believe their son was dead. Yes, but I'm not totally sure that my theory is true. So tell us your theory. Yeah, 
Why do you think Adrian Agress is locked up in his house? It's obvious. It's because his family is hiding something. Just imagine. A rich family who succeeded in life. They are happy. They seem to be the perfect family. But despite appearances, they hide one of the worst secrets in the world. The son grows up and his parents are afraid he will tell someone the secret. They decide to lock him up in his room. No matter how much he screams, no one can hear him ask for help. Your story is scary! This is not a movie! Why would his parents do such a thing to him? It doesn't make sense! Why don't we find out together? Together? You mean you are going to find out. Don't bring me into this. Why don't you let Ladybug and Cat Noir do it? I'm sure they're more competent than we are. Hello, everyone. Stop! I don't want to hear any more about this story! <clears throat> but imagine that it's true. Wouldn't you like to do something? Hello, ma'am. What's going on? Nothing. All you tell scary stories. Stories that could be true. No. Yes. <laughs> okay, have some macaroons. It will take your mind off of it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The vacations are next week. Do you have any activities planned? We have plans to go to the zoo and the pool with the whole class. Oh, and we'll go to the movies too. Don't forget to do your homework. Don't worry, they'll be done. Hmm? I'm sorry. I ruined everything. It's okay, you'll fix it. No, I'm clumsy. I risk making things worse. But you have been chosen, Marinette. Well, whoever who chose me was wrong. But I don't want to be Ladybug. Choose another holder. Goodbye, Tiki. I'm tired. I'm going to sleep. A little. Don't you have an audition this morning? I canceled it. I couldn't have left you alone. I'm not alone. I'm not going to let our assistant take care of you. Come in! I'm so sorry to have bothered you, ma'am. Tell him I'm canceling the appointment. What? Emily! You can't cancel all your appointments for me! Mr. Agrest is right. And I can take care of your husband in your absence if you want. Sir? Uh, my head! Gabriel! Are you okay? Should I call the doctor? Can you leave us alone, please? But ma'am, I... Don't worry. My husband needs to rest. I'll take care of him. You can leave now. All right, ma'am. Emily? I am the only person who can take care of you. Come, and rest on the sofa. Who is this woman? Our assistant. I've never seen her. Last week it wasn't her. Do we change our assistant every week? Uh, it depends. Sit down, please. Emily, answer me! I don't trust strangers because there are a lot of rumors about our family. I do this for our safety. To keep people who are too curious from snooping around our house. Get some rest now. I'm fine. What worries me is that I have the impression that you're keeping things from me. And Adrian's still not coming home. Honey, Adrian is... I'm not hiding anything from you. You had a blow to the head and lost your memory and I want to take it easy. I feel a very strong emotion. Emily? A terribly tormented soul. An excellent choice. Ugh. It was an accident. We will fix everything. Where is Natalie? N Natalie? Who is Natalie? Ugh! G Gabriel, y you scare me. I've never fallen down the stairs. I've never hit my head. I knew it. I should have let you rest and not brought you home. 
That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted! <sighs> Everything that's happening right now doesn't make sense. I just wanted us to be a family again. This is a joke, isn't it? <sighs> How can you say such things? <sighs> when you know that you are the one who caused all this. Finally, they are in my hands. Don't do this! Look at all you've done! How can we ever be a family again after this? <sighs> Whatever wish you make, nothing will ever be the same again. So all this means nothing to you? How can you say such a thing? You'll see, Adrian. Your mother will be with us again. Unify! No! <clears throat> My wish is to bring Emily back. Please bring her back. No! Father! I'm tired. No, Adrian! Stay with me. Uh, I'm going to sleep a little. <gasps> Adrian! Uh, wake up! Wake up! Adrian! <laughs> Everything repeats itself. It's like I'm stuck in a loop. This is not what I wanted! I want everything to stop! Crack! What, what are you doing? Don't go! Stay with me! Come with me. <gasps> Adrian! <coughs> are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. I had a really strange nightmare. It's over, father. I don't understand. Even the strongest magic powers in the world can't bring you back to us. Nothing will ever be the same again. I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you later. Bye.